Hi guys, it's Sinker here. Today I will be bringing you the ultimate Ark Survival Evolved FPS Increase Guide. We will be looking at a lot of different ways to increase our FPS inside of Ark Survival Evolved. First I'll show you a little video that I've made before I did any of the FPS fixes. You can see we are inside Ark Survival Evolved now and you can see the FPS in the top left corner. Yeah, right here. Um, it's it's like 30 FPS right now. Not a stable 30, but around 30 FPS. Now let's try to spawn a character. It's no, 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 not, not lava island. Jungle Smith, jungle node. Yeah, create new survivor. Yeah. Oh, the FPS is definitely not stable. No, 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 not at all. Alright, this is actually evolved on epic settings, the maximum settings in, the, in this game. It's epic. Yeah, this, this game looks really amazing, but as you can see, the FPS is not going very well. But remember, we haven't done any tricks yet to, um, yeah, to our Ark Survival Alt. As you can see, the game is not running very well, but let's fix it. Alright, so the first tip I want to give you is disabling the visual effects on Windows 10, 8 or 7. These visual effects is nothing more than small useless animations. To disable these settings, uh, right click on the Windows menu and go to System. Then go to Advanced System Settings. And then under Performance, hit um, Settings. The default settings is set to adjust for best appearance. We don't want that. Right below it says adjust for best performance. And that's exactly what we want to. I have some personal favorites which I just think should be enabled by default. You can see them on the screen now. The first one is animate windows when minimizing and maximizing. The next one is show thumbnails instead of icons. And the next one is smooth edges of screen fonts. And the second last one is smooth scroll list boxes. And the last one is use drop shadows for icon labels on the desktop. Now simply just hit apply and OK. The next tip is to set custom virtual memory. To enable custom sized virtual memory, go to advanced then hit change. Now untick this box here and then tick custom size. This is important. Please listen carefully. Every PC has a different recommended amount of virtual memory. Don't just copy mine. Use what is written on your PC. As you can see, my recommended virtual memory size is 2934. Now simply just put your virtual memory inside the custom size tabs. Now just press set and then hit OK. And hit OK again. And the last one apply. Though you will need to restart your PC to see the difference. The third tip I want to give you is to enable some launch options for Arc inside of Steam. First, head into your Steam application. Then, click on Game Library. Then, click on Arc Survival Alt and hit Properties. And click on Set Launch Options. I found six useful launch options for Arc Survival Alt. The first one is called Use All Available Cores. The Use All Available Cores launch option uses all the available cores in your CPU. If you have an octa-core, it uses 8 cores. If you are using a quad-core, it uses 4 cores. And if you are using a dual-core, it uses 2 cores. The second one is called SM4 aka Shader Model 4. SM4 uses Shader Model 4 instead of using Shader Model 5. It gives you a FPS boost, but makes your game look worse. The third one is called D3D10. D3D10 uses DirectX 10 instead of using DirectX 11. It gives you a performance boost. Some people may have problems losing D3D10. Use it at your own risk. The fourth launch option is called No Man's Sky, and no, it has nothing to do with the game called No Man's Sky. 
No Man's Sky makes your game auto launch, no sky effects when you start your game. Enable this if you don't notice the sky while playing. The fifth launch option is called Low Memory. Low Memory makes your game auto launch the low memory 4GB when you enter the game. I recommend using this if you only have 4GB or 8GB of RAM installed on your PC. The sixth and last launch command is called High. This launch option prioritizes your game higher than any other program you are currently running. You won't notice a big FPS difference with this launch option, but it is nice to have anyway. You can find all 6 launch options in the description below. Now that you're done tricking Ark through Steam, simply just press OK. And now, let's move to the next step. The next step in our tutorial is very, very simple. We're going to change the priority of Ark Survival Evolved while it is running. Firstly, go ahead and open Ark Survival Evolved. Don't hit play or anything, just leave it open for now. When Ark is fully launched, hit Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape on your keyboard to open Task Manager. Next, go ahead and open the Details tab inside of Task Manager. Then, scroll down until you find Shooter Game. .exe Shooter Game is basically Ark Survival Evolved. Now right click on Shooter Game and hit Set Priority and then select High. Do not select Real Time because it can cause massive system instability and even lead to PC crashes. Then click Change Priority and now just close Task Manager. This priority change will reset every time you restart your PC or restart Arc Survival Vault, but there is a way to make it stay in the given priority and I'll show you how to now. First off, open your favorite internet browser, which in my case is Google Chrome. Then paste a link in the description below, which says systemexplorer.net. Now just set the green download button and then hit run in the pop-up menu. And now just follow the System Explorer installation guide. Now hit next and Find your favorite location for your files and hit OK and hit next again and uncheck create quick launch icon and hit next and now you're done installing. Now just close everything except system installer and then open Arc Survival Evolved. As you can see now all the ongoing processes are running up and down. Now go ahead and find shootergame.exe aka Arc Survival Evolved. Now right click on shooter game and navigate to process priority. Now set it to high and remember to check permanent. We are finally done with step number. What? Well I don't know anymore. Let's just go to the next step. This next tip is pretty straightforward and simple. It is keeping your Windows operating system and drivers up to date. This will help you not just in Ark Survival Evolved but in any game or program running on your PC. You can enable auto updates for your Windows system and I'm pretty sure it's enabled by default. So I do not recommend enabling auto updates for Windows because it can slow your PC down. Now I'll show you how to manually update your Windows system. First open the Windows menu and click the little settings icon. Then Head into Updates and Security, then head into Windows Update and click Check for Updates. Now just wait for it to finish. As you can see my Windows 10 is all up to date. Updating your peripheral drivers may be a little more difficult. Some drivers are automatically updated through Windows Update, others aren't. It is going to be very easy for those of you who own a Nvidia graphics card because the only program you're going to need is GeForce Experience. Now, let's find out how to get GeForce Experience. First, let's open our internet browser. Then, type in geforce.com and hit enter. Then, navigate to the GeForce Experience tab and click on it. Then, hit download now. Easy and simple. When GeForce Experience is installed, Double click on the icon and hit yes on the pop-up window. Then head to the drivers tab and click on it. And now finally click check for updates. 
Now click on the green download button. When it has downloaded, hit Express Installation and then you're done. Now I'll show you how to update AMD GPU drivers, which is a little different from NVIDIA GPU drivers, but let's get to it. First, open your web browser and type in support.amd.com and then hit enter. Now scroll down and click on find your driver. Then scroll down again and hit download now. Easy, right? Unfortunately, I cannot show you how to install your AMD driver. So therefore, I found this nice guy called Nicholas 11 x 12 and I will leave a link to his video down in the description below. This next step is only for NVIDIA GPU users. I'm sorry for you AMD GPU users, but your GPU does not support NVIDIA control panel. But anyways, let's get to it. First, right click on the Windows menu and go to control panel. Next, type in NVIDIA and click on NVIDIA control panel. Now under 3D settings, click on manage 3D settings. Now click on the program settings tab and then click add. Now scroll down until you find shoot a game. Then select shoot game and hit add selected program. Now under select a program to customize, find Arc Survival Evolved. Now go down to the second line which says specify the settings for this program. Now just do as I do or make up your own settings. The first one we are going to change is called maximum pre-rendered frames and that is going to be changed to 1. The next one is multi display slash mixed GPU acceleration and that is going to be changed to single display performance mode. The third one is called power management mode, change that to prefer maximum performance. The next one is called texture filtering and a traffic sample option, turn that on. Next one after that is called texture filtering quality, set that to performance or high performance, that's up to you. The next one is called Texture Filtering Trillionaire Optimization, turn that on. The next one on the list is called Triple Buffering, go ahead and change that to off. And finally the last one called Vertical Sync aka V-Sync, that is up for you to decide whether it's turned on or off. I myself would just leave it off. Now finally just hit apply at the bottom of NVIDIA control panel. Now we have reached the last step of this guide and the last thing you can do to increase performance and FPS in Arc Survival Evolved is to overclock your graphics card. First you'll need to find the name of your graphics card and there's two ways to do that. They are both pretty simple. Alright, first right click on the taskbar and select task manager. Then navigate to the file tab and hit run new task. Now type in DXDIAG and hit OK. Now just wait for it to load up. Now navigate to the display 1 tab and click on it. And as you can see, the name of my GPU is written right here NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 Ti. Now note your GPU so we can use it later. Now let's move on to the second way. First, head into Task Manager like in the previous step. Then go to the file tab and hit run new task and then type in devmgmt.msc then hit ok or enter. Now navigate to the display adapters tab and click the little arrow to the left and here you'll find the name of your GPU. Now go to your internet browser and type in how to overclock and then type in the name of your GPU which in my case is the GTX 980 Ti. Now just pick the guide or tutorial which suits you the best, but remember, overclocking can damage your hardware. So please be careful when overclocking, and I am not responsible for any damage caused to your PC hardware. There is one last thing I want you to do before I am done with this tutorial, and that is to disable PCIe Express and now I'll show you how to do that. First head to your start menu and right click it. Then navigate to power options. Now you have some power plants to choose from. 
I'd recommend you to use balanced or high performance. Now just hit change plan settings on the one you've chosen. Now go to change advanced power settings. Then any window will pop up. Now go to that window and find PCIe Express. Next open link state power management. Now change the setting to off. Now just hit apply and ok. This lets your GPU perform even better. Now just restart your PC and you are done. Now let's test our Arc Survival Evolved. Now we're inside Arc Survival Evolved and you can see our FPS has increased from around 30 FPS to around 120 FPS. Isn't that amazing? Yes, of course it is. Though I know the game doesn't look as good as it did before all this, but we can change that. First go to Steam, then find Arc Survival Evolved, and then go to the launch options of Arc Survival Evolved. Now simply find and remove SM4 and D3D10. You can also remove low memory if you want to. You can also manually launch your desired launch options for Arc Survival Evolved through your Steam application. And it is very easy. Now simply just open your Steam application. Then go to your game library and under Arc Survival Evolved hit play. Now you can see a pop up window with a bunch of launch commands for Arc Survival Evolved. Now simply just choose the one you'd like to and hit play. Now let's get back into Arc Survival Evolved. Now we are back inside Arc Survival Evolved and I'm going to play around with the Arc graphic settings a bit. You can just copy my settings if you want to. Guy quality doesn't really matter to me so I'll just turn it all the way to the left. I'm not going to touch the advanced graphic settings here, you can do that yourself and see what's best for you. That was basically everything in this video. But before we end this video, I want to give you some cool game tweaking videos made by fantastic YouTubers. The first one is how to optimize Windows 10 anniversary update, a very handy video for every Windows 10 user. It is made by Tech City. The next video is made by Geeks Tutorial. He's going to show you how to optimize your PC for gaming. It is very informative and useful for any gamer out there. The third video is made by Liam is a monster. My video could simply not exist without his video. Also, it is very informative and helpful. The fourth video is made by Panjo. Same as Liam's video, very useful for Arc Survival Evolved players. Thank you guys so much for watching and please leave a like if this tutorial helped you increase your FPS in Arc Survival Evolved. You can find links and info down in the description below. Take care and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.